y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a what I eat in a day on the five and one to lose weight. Um, my name's Melissa, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I'm an independent coach for Optavia and I love to do unboxings and shopping hauls and uh, we'll sometimes do a let's cook a lean and green and show you a recipe for a lean and green and Scott usually joins me on those and he'll join me tonight when we eat our lean and green. But for today, I'm gonna kinda take you through my day. That's usually what I do on my What I Eat In A Days, is you just kinda go along with me because it's all day long. Okay, so what have I got going on today? Well, um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, my dad is recovering and he's doing well. Um, so today I'm gonna go see him and I've got a big surprise for him because his oldest grandchild, my son, um, is gonna also come see him and my granddaughter Grace, his great granddaughter. So I'm gonna meet them at the hospital and uh, so that they can visit their grandpa and great grandpa. So I'm excited about seeing them. Um, I've also got to do, yeah, last minute, last minute, y'all. I have been so off my game this year in getting ready for Christmas. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I've had a little extra on my plate this year, but um, yeah, I've gotta actually finish up stocking stuffers for said son. He's the only one I have left. And it's because he will never tell you, he never gives you any ideas of what he wants for Christmas. He'll always be like, oh, I don't need anything. I don't need, no, mom, you don't need to do that. I'm too old for that, mom. Well, and he is, he's 40 years old. But I don't think you're ever too old to get a stocking from your mom on Christmas. So I always fill my grown children's stockings. So. I've gotten a few things for him, but I still need to get a few more. All right, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Oh my gosh, I spent all day yesterday wrapping presents because I was so behind. Y'all, my, my tree was bare, but I finally got it done and so now it looks like it's supposed to look for Christmas morning, you know? Okay, so what am I having for my first fueling? My first fueling of the day is what I always have, coffee. Give me my coffee. <laughs> Scott's tiptoeing around, he's trying to be quiet. <laughs> So, my coffee shake. Every morning, I use my some form of caramel coffee. This one is Starbucks. I normally use the Folgers Drizzle, but the store was out. So, we've got the Starbucks caramel coffee and the caramel macchiato shake. Now, this is not like a flavored like latte with sweeteners and that kind of thing in it. This is just straight up coffee flavored with caramel. There's no calories. So if you're gonna blend, just make sure you use straight up coffee, okay? So let's go make my shake. Okay, so my coffee is brewed. Now, one thing I always tell y'all is to use an oversized mug. This one's not as big as it really needs to be, so I'm gonna have to be super careful because I'm gonna use a milk frother to mix it. And so sometimes it can, you know, froth up and spill over. So I just pour my shake straight in. People do this different ways. A lot of people will make their shake with a little water and then add coffee to it. I like to just use straight up coffee. Um, I don't want to water it down. So you just use the milk frother carefully. And there it is, y'all. I almost had a disaster. Maisie just jumped in my lap and almost spilled this hot coffee all over me. But thankfully, I'm going to scroll down. Oh, there she is. Hold on, y'all. There she is. <laughs> Okay, so just um, talk to you for a minute. Not a coach's corner, just wanna talk with y'all a minute. So I wanted to share with y'all one of the things that I love the most about this program. Convenience, um, simplicity. I'm, I'm serious, that is like over and over and over, I find that that is the key. You know, being in structure, um, keeping things simple, especially during times like this. Um, around the holidays when everybody is just naturally busy. It's good to have something that you don't have to think about because one thing that I've learned through Optavia is that willpower is actually a resource that we can deplete and you use willpower for everything. I mean, literally for everything, for every decision you make, you're depleting your willpower. So it's so nice to not have to make decisions around food. 
I mean, the biggest decision we have to make on the five in one is which fueling do I want to eat? <laughs> and honestly, I mean, I eat pretty much the same thing every day over and over with few exceptions. Uh, the lean and greens are all planned out for us. You know, they could not be easier. We have access to hundreds, hundreds of recipes if we want to go that route. Or you just keep it simple. Grill a piece of chicken, throw together a salad, have some green beans. It just couldn't be easier. It couldn't be easier. And right now, I need easy. So that's what I'm grateful for today. All right, so I am going to just enjoy this coffee, go put a little makeup on this face. Believe it or not, I also have a video I have to make this morning, a stitch fix. So I gotta get set up for that. And then we are gonna head out to do a little stocking stuff for shopping, to see my dad and my son and granddaughter. And uh, then I'll come back here and Scott and I'll have our lean and green and y'all will have just spent the day with me. All right, guys, I'll see you on my next fueling. Okay guys, I'm in my car, I'm ready to head out, and this is what I brought with me. Um, I think this is kind of Christmassy sounding. It's the frosted, um, what is it? Yeah, the frosted cinnamon spice bar. I've never tried it, I don't think. And if I have, it's been a long time. So this is what I'm gonna have for my second fueling because I'm in the car headed out. I wanted to show y'all something too. Remember when I got this? Uh, I think I got it in my FabFitFun. Y'all, I love it. I keep it in my car. It keeps my <laughs> dashboard dusted. Love it, love it. There's something else. Oh, the other thing, a tip. So I think I'm gonna be out long enough to need two fuelings. So I took three. That's just a tip I give all my clients. When you are out and about running errands and doing things, you're away from home. If you think you're gonna need one, take two. Think you're gonna need two, take three, etc. You never wanna be caught unprepared. All right, so let me open this up and show you what it looks like. It looks a lot like the um, oatmeal one, and it smells a lot like it too. So there's a little drizzle of the cream cheese frosting on the front, and then it's coated on the back. It smells very sweet. <laughs> it also smells like cinnamon. Honestly, I can't tell the difference hardly between it and the oatmeal one. Maybe a little spicier, a little less sweet and more spicy. So I kind of like this one better because I don't like things too, too sweet. All right, I'm gonna eat this while I head <clears throat> to go run my errands before I go see dad. It got cold, y'all. I mean, like, let me take my glasses off. It got like, it's 19 degrees. The temperatures dropped and now it's snowing. It's just little flurries, but in Texas, that's snow. So I am pulled into a parking lot right now. I'm fixing to run in and do my very last minute, last minute Christmas shopping. So I'm having some barbecue crunchers. I haven't had these in a while. Scott orders them all the time. He loves them. They're actually pretty good. So I'm having a bottle of water because you got to have water with these things because they are kind of dry. Um, so here's what I'm having. See the little barbecue crunchers? They look like tiny little Cheetos. I can't believe it's snowing. It's not snowing enough to where if I turn the camera around, you could see it. It was snowing a little bit more earlier, but I was driving, so I couldn't I couldn't video. Anyway, just had a great visit with my dad. Um, my son and his daughter came out, and that was a real treat for my dad and my mom. So now I'm going to brave this store, and then I have to brave the grocery store, y'all. That's what I'm dreading. But I don't want to go tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. I'm off. I will see y'all back. This was fueling number four. And I'll see you back at the house where um, Scott and I will have a lean and green. And I'm not even sure what we're having, but it'll be a lean and green. We'll see you then. Hey guys. Okay. I'm home and Scott and I are getting together our lean and green. But I want to tell you, um, I forgot to film my, I think it was my third fueling. It was just another bar. I had a chocolate bar, just a chocolate drizzle bar is what I took um, with me. And um, I just got caught up in everything I was doing. You see Santa Claus back there? Um, and I forgot, I forgot the video. Hey, I'm doing really good to get this video out, y'all, just so you know. Um, here's what we're having for our lean and green. Lasagna, meat, la or meat lasagna, no noodles. Uh, it's a Sandy Kitchen uh, recipe. I'll link the recipe in the description box. And then just a, a bag salad mix, y'all, just romaine salad mix. 
I measured out two servings of it because the lean and green is a full lean, one green, and um, some condiments. <laughs> Goose ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. Oh, anyway, oh, oh. he's a hot mess. So, um, you know, I was telling y'all earlier, uh, one of the things, yeah, you're getting there. I was telling y'all earlier that one of the things that um, I love about Optavia, especially during this time, is the ease yes. and the simplicity. So, I got home, I was tired, and I had to stop at the grocery store on the way home to get stuff for Christmas Eve house. and Christmas Day and all the things. And I was like, I forgot to lay anything out for dinner. I don't even know what I'm having. So I grabbed a, a package of ground beef, uh, had some Rayos, uh, all the things. I knew, how, how long did it take us to put that together? 10 minutes? Well, the uh, concoction? Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, he was browning the ground beef and I was mixing up the cheese. I mean, and the then it, brown, it takes it. Browning it, the meat probably took seven to 10 minutes. Yeah, it's and then so together, easy. 15, it's so 15 easy. 15 tops. And all day long, I didn't have to even think. When I was out running errands, I didn't have to think. I, had to, I didn't have to get into a drive through I didn't have to find a restaurant. I didn't have to pack a lunch, you know, and measure everything out. I just grabbed my bars and grabbed those crunchers. I took some of your crunchers today. Yeah. And, um, you know, love it. And then later, I normally have pudding. I'm going to surprise y'all. I'm not Ooh. having pudding. not having pudding. It's too cold. It's like 15 <laughs> degrees outside. <laughs> I'm not having pudding. All right, let's dig into this. Okay. All right, so this is the meatless lasagna. If not you've watched, meatless. I'm sorry, it's the meat lasagna <laughs> with no noodles. If y'all watched, say, what is that? if y'all have ever watched this, you'll probably seen us have this. Now, I will say the recipe calls for ricotta cheese, part skim ricotta. The grocery store was completely out, so I substituted with low fat um, cottage cheese, and I've done that before, and it was fine. So, you, you like it? Okay. I wouldn't have told him if y'all weren't on here. Can you tell the difference? Not in that bite, I couldn't. Not in that bite. Okay, but we're gonna. I know it's in there. Oh my, big my gosh! Okay, we're gonna. Hey, get... I had a an issue with it. Oh, okay. Going well, we don't want to. We don't want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> if it was bad. <laughs> okay. Well, Santa and I are gonna go eat our dinner, and then we'll see you back for our last fueling of the night. A surprise fueling? Well, from me. What? I made him get dressed up. No, holiday crew in the house. He can't help himself. <laughs> he told me he was gonna do that, and I told him, no, you're not. And she said she's gonna have to edit it, and I told her, no, I'm, I'm not it. gonna edit it, I'm just gonna leave That's it. That's right, you let it, it roll. <laughs> just gonna let it roll. <laughs> so these are matching pajamas, y'all. Yeah, we're that couple. <laughs> We used to have matching pajamas. My, well, they weren't like matching, matching, but his shirt said Santa. Yeah. And mine said. Of course. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. <laughs> we passed Not that. Not me, Santa. We passed Fruit that. Cake. We passed that torch <laughs> on to our um, oldest daughter and her husband a few years ago, and so I thought we needed new. We needed new crew. crew so we're there. the holiday crew. We're right. the holiday crew. And we right. don't box pick up. I don't even know what I'm saying now. What are you trying to say even? Uh, pack up and shipping. My my ready whip just disintegrated. Your dollop. Well, yeah, my little dollop. My, my little dollop of ready whip. So I have a caramel macchiato shake with decaf coffee. And I the have way I started, chocolate cream. Oh, you're sorry. The way I started my day is the way I'm ending my day, but I made it a little fancy. I put a little ready whip with a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Oh, a little dash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have the old creamy oh. chocolate shake. It's like 12 degrees outside. Oh, and I was man, like, is it chocolatey. You're having a chocolate you don't, shake? You don't want to put in not all the recommended amount of water, so it gives a little extra <laughs> chocolate kick to it. You know... This is so soothing too at night. It's like it's warm and it's making me sleepy. <laughs> sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because you need to get some sleep. Mm -hmm. You haven't been sleeping too well lately. I haven't. I really haven't. Okay, guys, you know what? We're probably not going to see y'all before Christmas. This will be their last video. I'm putting this up on uh, the Friday before Christmas. Yeah, because Santa's got. We got stuff so busy, we got to do. Busy, busy, busy. The holiday crew is going to be busy. Busy. So. You know, the 
a magician and frosty the snowman busy busy busy, busy. busy. that's right that's right we got oh and then you got uh santa claus coming to town oh okay one, two, oh, I knew he was gonna do it. Of the other. Okay. <laughs> and soon you'll be walking across the floor. All right, let me tell y'all a story. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> story time. And then you got Rudolph. Okay. I'm trying to stop him. <laughs> okay. So, story time. All right. So Scott and I got married in May. We got married in May. We did. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, sure about that. Yes, it was oh. May 27th. We <laughs> okay. got married in May. All right, and so... 2002. Mm, so, one time I came... Oh, okay, we got married in May. I came home <laughs> from work. It was July, mid-July. And I walked in the front door, had the kids. Um, and I was like, what am I hearing? What What is that noise? I can hear music coming from the back bedroom. So... That's all never... So I get back there and I open the door to see my husband jamming out to Amy Grant Christmas. Right. It was the song Emmanuel. Emmanuel. It was the song Emmanuel. Emmanuel. He was just jamming out to it and folding clothes. Ladies, I knew then I had scored. A husband that could listen to Christmas music in July and he was folding clothes. Well, she's wanting to know where that guy's gone. No, he still. <laughs> we, in fact, listened to that song. We took our youngest daughter and her her boyfriend and our oldest daughter, Casey, and our grandson, Jackson. Our son-in-law was sick. He didn't get to join us. Um, but we all went and ate dinner, and then we went look at Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. And while we were driving around looking at Christmas lights, we were listening to Amy Grant. And I heard Casey in the very back telling Jackson. Jackson was going... I don't know this this Christmas music. <laughs> and, and Casey said, I grew up listening to this Christmas music. So Christmas. Mm -hmm. So they always got a kick out of him singing the Emmanuel well, yeah. song. Christmas he would, in July. He would do the drums and all that. You know. Oh, man, it was cranked. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's just a story. That's just a story. Okay. I'm not sure how true it is, but it is a story. It is true. It's 100% um, um, true. All right, so we're going to go enjoy our last feeling of the night. And but before we go, we definitely want to say one thing to y'all. Um, if you're my client and you're watching, um, I want to give a public personal thank you to you guys uh, for the whole year, but especially for uh, the last few weeks. Y'all have been amazing. Um, hanging in there with me, being patient with me, working so hard, sticking to your plan, even when your coach was a little MIA. Um, I couldn't be more proud of y'all, and I couldn't be more grateful for y'all. And I'm really looking forward to 2023 with you guys. And um, let's just let's just have a great year. I want y'all to have the most wonderful, beautiful, blessed Christmas. And that goes for our viewers too, all of you guys. Um, we love y'all so much. We yeah, just we love do. our YouTube family. Especially, everybody, there's quite a few people that are probably going to have a white Christmas. I know. I we, had a, we had a white flurry today, so. That was so exciting. But that's that the so closest we've come to having a white Christmas close to Christmas Day. I know. I know Grace got very excited when it started snowing today. She was super excited. That's why I told my sister she lives up in Frisco. And I said, well, Hopefully you get enough in the grass in the shady area to save it for that one little spot and you can go say you have a white Christmas. All the people up north that, are, that possibly are seeing this are like, oh, careful what you wish for. Uh, yeah, no. We like it here in Texas. We get a snow for maybe two days. And then it's gone. And then it's 70. Yeah. And it's, you know, we love it. Yeah. We get a little bit of the cold snow and then it's gone. Yeah, if it's too much, though, the whole state shuts down because we don't know how to live in the snow. Two years ago, when that big well, that snowstorm, was, that was that crazy. Was, that was way beyond. Annoying. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was, so, yeah. over the next few days, I'm looking forward to lots of fires in the fireplace. So, our plans are this. Um, our very best friends, Pam and Ken, are coming over tomorrow. We're going to have dinner, play games, listen to Christmas music. We always try to get together with them one day before Christmas, and it just happened to be the Friday before Christmas this year. So we're looking forward to that. Pajama and then, party. Pajama party. Oh, yeah, we're going to wear our holiday crew. Our crew. And then um, Saturday afternoon, um, our two daughters, 
Oh, he's got vacation Christmas going on oh, yeah. back there. The it's number loud. one right Christmas I for, movie. I forgot to mute it. It's probably really loud. So. He went and turned it down. It was really ooh, loud. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't get going. Anyway, so Saturday, <laughs> our daughters are coming over and our grandson. And <laughs> uh, we're going to just have a nice afternoon, have lunch together. And then everybody's going to church. And then they're going to spend the night, you guys. And then we'll have Christmas morning with them. And then a very quiet Christmas afternoon. Yeah, that's great because we, I mean, we won't have to get up like at 4.30 to go over where we usually do. Yes. Have Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, we normally get up really early and go over um, to, to see Jackson. Jackson. And so, yeah, there's been many times we've gotten up at 4.30, 5 o'clock to get there before he wakes up. And then we're usually ended up waiting on him to wake up. But anyway, so we're doing that Sunday, Christmas Day. And then on Monday, to round it out, a couple hours north to go where um, our son lives. And we're going to have Christmas, day brunch. after Christmas brunch with them and, and, um, and his and sister. Brother-in-law. Yeah, and exchange gifts with them. And then... <sighs> That, that, that'll do that'll it. That'll wrap it up. That'll and then back to the work week. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Until New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. This was great to get back together with you guys today. And um, just be patient with me over the next few weeks as I, as we explained in our last video. Um, we're going to get there, y'all. We're going to get there. That's right. All right. You guys. Y'all be part of it. That's right. And we appreciate y'all so much. Very, very, very much. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. And... And until we can get back together with you, y'all have a very, very Merry Christmas. You stay safe, stay well. Warm. And stay warm until we get together again. Ho, ho, ho.